life has been lifing. And with that being said, we are moving to Charlotte, North Carolina. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Quinn and thank you for joining my video today. Um, let me just get straight to the point, y'all. Life has been lifing. And with that being said, we are moving to Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah. We're moving to Charlotte, North Carolina, y'all. And we literally only had, how long, babe, to find a place? We only had two or three weeks to find a place, y'all. And if you are not familiar with Charlotte, like the rent in Charlotte is not it. And especially coming from a small place in like in South Carolina and then having to go to pay rent in Charlotte, like that's a huge jump. And so we went touring places or whatever when we went to the Don Tolliver concert. Um, and I didn't tell y'all because it wasn't completely confirmed yet. So we are moving to Charlotte and thankfully today we did get approved for this place. So we decided to get a house instead of an apartment y'all. And we applied to like two, uh, two houses. And the first one we did not get approved for because after we applied, they decided they wanted to raise the rent. Like we didn't get approved for that one, which was fine because we wasn't about to pay for it anyway. And then we paid for another one, y'all. And they called us and they were like, yeah, like, you know, we're reviewing your application. Just give us up to 72 hours. And if we approve y'all, like y'all will know. Y'all tell me why the girl then went out of, out of town. She went out of the office. So they weren't able to approve our application. So they ended up giving it to somebody else. So thankfully we found another place today and we were able to apply today. Um, and so we were approved and now we are actually about to go to Walmart and get some bin. I need another bin for like my shoes and just the rest of my clothes. And then we also need to just get some more stuff. Oh, your mom just texted me, right? Uh, we also need to get some more stuff because y'all, we have to move on Monday and today is Tuesday. Yeah, so we only have six days to get everything together. So we're about to go to Walmart and that's that. But hey y'all. Are we gonna get the same ones that we had to, we got last time? Honestly, I feel like it would be smart to just get the same size. <laughs> so she said walk all the way to the garden and to the left. You know, people I've seen where somebody. We just got back home from Walmart um, and I got the bin and we got some trash bags because that's really all we need. We already got some boxes from Home Depot, some tape, and we also got some paper to, you know, like wrap our glasses up and stuff like that. Um, so, so far y'all, I ain't even gonna cap to y'all. Like, I know that we had three weeks to start packing but one thing about me, I'm going to be completely honest, I need to have everything set in stone. Like, I need to know that, okay, like, I know that we're moving, but I need to know, like, it's set in stone before I start, you know, actually putting action behind it. So now that it's set in stone, I finally started packing yesterday. I went ahead, I started washing some clothes. Um, I also started packing my first bin. So my first bin is actually complete. I just got, like, a lot of clothes in there. And I got my bottoms, so I got like a lot of like my bottoms, so my jeans and my tops, my dresses, and then I got my tops in there. And then I got a couple of Shan packages. And then today what I'm gonna do is finish washing the rest of my clothes and pack up my shoes. So that's what I got the other bin for, so I can put my shoes in there and my rest of my clothes in there. So I'm gonna get that done, and then after that, I'm either gonna start on the side 
bedroom, my office, or I'm going to start in the side bathroom. But y'all, it's just so much stuff that I have to do. Like, I have so much stuff to do, like, other than moving. Like, I have a recap video that I have to finish editing. And I want to get that to my god sister, um, like, Thursday. And today is Tuesday, so I need to do that today. Honestly, I don't see why I need to be going to sleep. If we're being if we're being honest, I need to like and I be y'all. I'm such an old lady. I be in the bed by like ten, be sleep by ten thirty, eleven o'clock. And tonight is not one of them nights. Like I need to be up. Don't be one of them nights. One of the nights with my back in. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get to that, and that's what I'm about to do. Yeah. I'm a child trying to be a man. To all my sons worldwide, all my juniors, I apologize for my absence. I know I left you without a name to drop. I don't know how I expected you to get your cloud up and get your money up, but don't worry. Daddy's home. Turn me up. Yeah. Niggas know they need to stop. And I'm standing at the top. That's how I know you never seen the top. Here can you park a lot, looking like that the city park a lot. Hit the talks when I walk by, like you know it's open when you drop, baby. Drop, yeah. And I'm coming with the pop. Y'all niggas poppin'. Walkin' and she goin' shoppin'. Well, I'm running out of ops. Yeah, I'm running out of options. Put them up for adoption. Sign my name on the dot. This is not love, baby. This no boy leave, no horse shoe. I'm in the bank to get for you. I'm in New York on John Tetri. Supermodels in the yard sex. Lock the door to the bathroom. Stay doing something that is not pesky. I'm just pouring up my shots. I remember that I told you I missed you. That was kind of like a mass text. I remember that I told you I loved you. That was really in the past tense. I remember that I told you I get you. True fears that I get around. Let you have enough to kid. 42 here. I said to get around. Yeah. On Bitter Deep with the top down. Shorty's out here getting knocked down. City coming off a lockdown. Rap nigga. For real. I'm trying to find a word to say. We ain't even out in Turks, you finna take sand. Riding around with F and then we like to hold hands. Over two sip, die, he ain't need a bed. Then I did the plan of tech in a cold red. If I tell this bitch to pull her, she gon' mow petty. My doggy don't smoke on shit unless it's unleaded. I'm going back and forth over no net, so just gon' dead it. See me when you see me, if the smoke doggy unleash it. Did my rockin' bitch, it's my fave, I'ma gon' beat it. Look it in the mirror, kiss my face, I'm too conceited. Send a girl home, call another dog, I'm too slime. She ain't wanna eat it on the first day, it's her rhyme. I've been asked for the first time. That shit kicked in like a two-time world trip Booted up, that shit held up and down like a skate ramp She vaped in my room, that shit lit up like a glow lamp Who won't smoke? Okay, cool, let's stay home I love the floor A backyard, too New chapters this is our house. We can yell, we can be as loud as we want to. Turn up as loud as we want to. Do whatever we want to. Go to bed whenever we want to. Stomp as loud as we want to. Yell as loud as we want to. All that because it's our house. Period. Okay y'all, so this would be my office. I really like it because of the window right here. And I need some lighting, so this is perfect. Um, the house is cute, like, I'm not gonna cap. Like, we've seen better houses, but honestly, for the crunch time that we're on, and just for like, the sake of the, like the different stuff that we want in our home, like, I ain't gonna cap, we a little bougie, and we won't about to just stay anywhere. So this place works out perfect. I'm happy. It's gonna feel like a home. Um, sadly, you know, because of us having to move in such a rush, we won't be able to decorate it as fast as we want to, but I can rock with it, you know? Like, our house in the middle of the street, our house in the middle of the, babe, you gonna sing it back? Our 
24 hours later. Okay, so it is Thursday. That is how many more days till we move? Four days till we move, y'all. We're moving, we're getting it done. We honestly, I'm proud of us because last move, we waited till the last minute to start packing. Um, and so I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like later. But right now, I just wanted to show y'all. My man made me some breakfast. And this is why I can't unbig my back. Right here. Cause he be feeding me. And honestly, if your man don't feed you, do your man really love you? I just wanted to come on here and show y'all that and tell y'all good morning because I just left so abruptly yesterday. Didn't say nothing, didn't say talk to y'all later, nothing. So I'll just chat with y'all later. I'm about to eat this breakfast and yeah. Hey y'all, so I'm about to start cleaning up the office and let me show y'all what it looks like. Don't judge me cause it's messy and Thankfully, I never got around to decorating it, but this is what it looks like right now. It's not too much to get up, but it's really gonna be just getting my desk together. And then I got all these, well, not even all these boxes, but this is a lot of like my camera stuff and a camera, a light. Did I ever show y'all this package? I'm not sure, but it was a lot of stuff that, um, my man bought me for my camera, so he bought me a light. It was like a package when he bought me a new camera. So that's all that's in here. And I think what I'm gonna do is honestly just keep all my stuff for my camera in this box. Look, I got some SD cards still not used, that I haven't used yet. Shout out to my man for real. A battery. And I need to just throw out the boxes in here that I don't use, that I don't need for real. Cause I'm gonna use this box to pack all my camera stuff in. Yeah. And then this box down here can just be an extra box. I can probably put like my books in there because as you can see, I got some books and these are like, those aren't even all my books. Like if you don't know, I'm a bookworm. I love to read y'all. Like. I love to read. So I think I'm going to put all my books in that bottom box. And then we'll go from there. Wait, y'all can't even see me. So that's what I'm going to do. And we'll just go from there. So I'm going to set y'all up because I don't have really much to talk about. Like the move is pretty. It's going well. Like the process is a lot smoother now that we have found a place and signed the lease. Um... So we just have to pay the security deposit, which is first month's rent, and which is not bad for the house because we had to pay first month's rent for this apartment, for the security deposit. Um, so we gotta do that. And then we gotta pay the prorated rent. And then we gotta get the U-Haul and the movers. And Greg is handling um, the U-Haul and the movers and all of that stuff. Um, he's really handling like a lot of the move stuff, shout out to him. And I'm just really focusing on like packing and just, you know, answering questions if he has some questions or needs some advice on something. But yeah, so I'm about to get to packing and I just wanted to give y'all that update. I don't really think it's going to take me that long at all. Oh, and then I got my, some of my bathing suits over here. And then I got my futon. I'm definitely gonna use this futon in the next place. I'm probably gonna put that in my office again in my next place and use the rug that's out there in the living room for this. And then this is our little Build-A-Bear that we got. His graduation stuff, a cowboy hat when he went to a, a party. And then this fat old TV that he hates. And honestly, y'all, I understand. I understand why he hates it, but I've had that TV since, like, I was a kid. Like, my parents gave it to me when I moved into my first apartment. And I just always kept it with me because I just never felt like buying a new TV. But hopefully, 
we're gonna stay at this place longer than we did here i really have good i have a good feeling about this move like moving to south carolina like it was just uh you know i'm going because the opportunity is here and why not but moving to charlotte i'm like yes i'm excited so i'm gonna actually you know make my office something at this new place and i can't wait for y'all to like you know, for us to go on that journey together because it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna need some. I'm gonna need some help because y'all know the design stuff is not for me. So that's that. And then I have like all these papers, y'all, because I am such a memory hoarder. Like these pictures are from high school. I got them when I graduated high school, and. If you are subscribed to me and you were watching me in high school, shout out to you. But it's not like a bad hoarder. I'm a memory hoarder. Like, if it means something to me, I'm going to keep it. And those two, I'm keeping that forever. Hey y'all, today is Saturday, which means we only have two more days to move, y'all. Two more days to move, two more days till we out of South Carolina, back in North Carolina, in Charlotte. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So, I finished cleaning up the office yesterday, y'all. Well, I finished packing it up, and the only things left, excuse my, excuse the mess, okay? So... This is the desk or whatever. Everything is completely wiped off. We're not gonna take it down. We're just gonna keep it like this in the U-Haul. I have some spaghetti for dinner. And then I have everything pretty much that I need from my office packed up in here. I did not type, take those boxes up yet, y'all, cause I lost the tape, but luckily we found it. And then the ironing board, that stuff, the futon, and the TV, and then this is just a trash bag, and this is some hair, some braiding hair, just a whole bunch of hair that I have not used yet. And I did sleep in here, not last night, but I came in here like early this morning. I came in, I think I woke up at like 6.45, and I did not want to wake Greg up, so I was like, well, let me just go to the room, watch some YouTube, and chill, see if I can go back to sleep. I ended up not going back to sleep, so yeah. What I'm about to do now is, let me show y'all, let me show y'all. Actually, let me just give y'all an update of where we are and how much we still got to get done. So, we just got to get everything out of here, like I told y'all. We got to get this closet done. Like, these are just, child, I don't even need suggestions no more because I work from home. But taking this stuff, that stuff, got to get that. This is for like, I wanted us to have a date night painting and we never used it. So I might as well just throw it away. Um, that stuff and then some stuff that we didn't even unpack. Like, look at this. It's crazy. So that's that. Then, okay. So I know this looks crazy out here, but I promise you, let me turn the light on. I promise you it's all organized. Like we, we know what everything is it just looks crazy to y'all so this is majority of my stuff so it's like some of my clothes or whatever and just purses hair stuff makeup stuff or whatever i gotta finish that's just some of it so then these are clothes that we are giving away it's a lot and i'm actually about to do that with y'all after i finish giving all this update so these are clothes we're giving away. Bae, you giving these hats away? Yeah. I'm kidding. Hold on. Oh, uh, this one you can give away. Um, I'm gonna look at these hats before he just, you know, give them away. Oh, uh, yeah, he can. Oh, okay. It's nothing that I want, so we good. 
So all of that, then some more of my clothes, some more of my clothes, um, some more of my clothes, my book bag, a comforter, his clothes right here, some more of his stuff right here. And then let me show y'all the closet. Hey. <laughs> so we're gonna ignore the bathroom right now because we're gonna do the bathroom together and that's literally the last part oh well Bay still has some stuff in the closet but this is my side completely done just gotta get those out and i gotta tape these up i gotta tape these up and then once he gets his side done we'll be good with the closet um, and then after that, we are going to do the kitchen and the bathroom together. And then we just got a deep clean and I'm going to film an empty tour, empty apartment tour, because I never gave y'all an empty apartment tour. So since we're moving out, we might as well give y'all that. All right, y'all, so I just finished bagging up the clothes. It only took like two or three bags, but now we about to take the bags down so we can go drop them off. Can't feel the pain. So we just got back home. It was really quick and easy. Like we just dropped them off. Now we're back at the crib. Um, I know that I should probably start doing something. I just don't know what I need to start doing. Like, does that make sense to y'all? And I'm really trying not to sit myself down and go watch a YouTube video. That's what I'm trying not to do. I don't know what I'm about to do. But whatever I do, I'm gonna check in with y'all later. Bye. Later. Hey y'all, so my camera died. And then, I, I took me a nap. No, no, I didn't take me a nap yet. But after that, I put y'all on the charger. I went with Greg to go to Walmart because we had to make the security deposit for the place today. Um, and for some reason, we can only do the payment with Walmart. So we had to go do that. Then we came back home. Then I was like, well, I'm about to take me a nap. So I took me about like an hour nap. Now I'm back up. Um, thankfully, I was able to knock off like two items from, I hope I didn't just drop a thumbtack. Oh Lord Jesus. A thumbtack. Oh, there it go. But okay, but anyway, so while y'all were charging, I did go ahead and wash the towels and finish cleaning out the side closet. So now all we have to do is, well, I have to put my clothes in that bin, tape the bin up, clean up our main bathroom, and then just clean up the kitchen, and then we will be done. U-Haul is booked, movers are booked. So at this point, it's really just us. Like, it's just us getting everything together. And now, <sighs> I'm just more excited. Like, y'all, it took me so long to even get myself to, like, get myself to sleep because I was just thinking about everything that we needed to get done. Like, I was like, I can't even take a nap. But I still found a way. So, I'm about to go ahead and finish getting everything complete so we can have this place packed up by tomorrow so y'all can get this empty apartment tour and we're gonna be good y'all i promise i'm literally having the worst 
slow moments ever while I'm packing. Like, I just thought about, I could have probably just put sheets of paper between the plates instead of just wrapping them. Like, that was so dumb. That means it's time for me to go to bed, y'all. Like, no cap. That just means it's time for me to go to bed. So I'm about to hurry up and finish getting the rest of this because that is nothing. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow because tomorrow is really when everything has to be completely finished so we can clean up i can film that empty tour and we can end this vlog so yeah i will talk to y'all tomorrow good night good morning y'all it is the next day which means it's one more day until we move one more and we talked to the lady already it's 11 a.m surprisingly she was in the office today but thankfully we were able to talk to her um, so we got the move-in time scheduled, and now I just got in the mood like, yeah, we got to finish this right now, like, right now. So I'm packing up, well, I, I know I'm in the kitchen, but I'm packing up our medicine cabinet or whatever. So I'm pretty much done packing up the medicine cabinet, y'all. We got so much medicine, like, it's crazy. Like, we just... It's so much medicine up in here, but honestly, that's just fine with me because if we get sick, we're going to be prepared. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. Like, when I moved out of my mama house, medicine, buying medicine was the last thing on my mind. Like, except for, like, the ibuprofen and stuff because I rarely get sick. But when I get sick, I get sick. Like, it's bad. Um, so, we just had to make that big person purchase because nobody ever talks about how, like, medicine like if you don't have to take medicine on a daily basis like you don't really think about like oh snap let me go buy me some medicine like unless you in pain at the moment so we prepare that's good we're almost done thankfully and once we do get done we actually have to drive to charlotte today so we're gonna drop off his car at his parents house um because they live in charlotte so we're gonna drop that off. That way he can drive the U-Haul tomorrow and I'll just drive my car up there. And then his parents will drive his car to the house. I really hope that y'all been enjoying this vlog, but like I'm really trying to incorporate talking and giving y'all little montages too. Um, so hopefully it's not too boring for y'all because I really didn't know what y'all wanna see. Like all it is is just me packing stuff up. like. Yeah, but this is the medicine, you know. Can't forget to label it. And then we still got to load. Y'all, I just feel like it's so much in here. Like, I wish once we pack stuff up, like, it could just vanish. Like, it'll be like, okay, like, be gone. Because it's just still so much around. And it's just stressing me out because it's just, like, just here. And I wish it would just go away. I can't wait. I know I showed y'all, like, a little bit of the house already. But I cannot wait for y'all to see like the full house. Like, uh, I don't know if that's gonna be in this vlog or if it's gonna be in the next vlog. I think it should be a next vlog. That way I can just keep posting about the moving. Good morning, y'all. Today is Monday, which means it is moving day. And we are about to pick up our U-Haul. We are supposed to get it at 8 a.m. and it's literally 7.59. And we have to wait till 8 a.m. on the dot to go in here and get the U-Haul, so. We here waiting now. It's 8 a.m. now. The movers are supposed to get here at 11. So I'm gonna give him the phone so he can like talk to them. Cause he's probably gonna have to talk to them or call them or something because our complex can be a little weird trying to get in there. Um, so yeah, they come at 11. We'll pack the thing up. We have them from 11 to one. And then at one, hopefully we won't have too much more stuff to put in there. Um, so the goal is to be on the road by two. Yeah, and here's where the U-Haul right here, y'all. All right, y'all, I just made it back home. The movers will be here at 10. I don't know what time I told y'all, but they gonna be here at 10, y'all. It's currently eight, let me see. It's currently 8.52. And so we pretty much have everything packed up, but we have to like get the little small things, like the little miscellaneous things that we need to just pack up and get out the way. So that's what we're about to do. Zoom through and do, because 10 o'clock is gonna be here before we know it. So yeah, enjoy me doing that.
Hey, I just want to say this. That is my charger right there that you're using. I just want you to know. I don't know where yours is. No, no, I took mine. Huh? I took mine. Okay, so you know where yours is. No, I'm saying that's mine. I don't know where you put mine at. Well, yours is. I know, babe. That's mine. No, no, no. That's mine from in here yesterday. I put that out there yesterday. No, you did not. I did. <laughs> you gonna tell me it's not mine? Three hours later. Hey y'all, so we are finally done. Like, done, done. Well, we got to put a few more stuff in our cars, but we done. It is 12.21, and let me go ahead and give y'all this tour because we got to get on the road. So, boom. This is the front door, and this is the walkway that we had right here. So, this is the front closet. Um, thankfully, we don't have to have everything out until September 11th, so we're leaving some stuff here. But that was the opening closet. Um, we kept our shoes over here. Here was the laundry room. And it did come with its own washer and dryer, y'all. Which was why I was so in distress when we were shopping for apartments in, like, in Charlotte because we only paid 1771 for this place. But anyway, so here is the kitchen area right here and it's a lot of cabinet space y'all so it was these cabinets these cabinets right there right there right there all right there love the space love the white plenty of counter space and then we had a little island right here this was our pantry again so much kitchen storage bro like so much that's why we need need a food stamp because we need to fill this stuff up okay and then here is the living room so spacious and i know y'all hear that echo nice windows good space then you come out here on the balcony here is the balcony right here. And it is facing the back of the complex. So that was like what we would see out here. Then here is our room. And we coming back to clean up y'all, so don't mind the floors. But here's our room. And these windows was out to the balcony. Right here. Then here's our bathroom. So this is the bathroom. Loved the double sink. Shower. Bathroom closet. And I've always wanted to live somewhere where the closet was connected to the bathroom. So this is the closet in our room. Oh, okay, he was in that box. I had to make sure he won't leave it in them shoes. So next up is the other side of the apartment. This was my office. Let me turn my light on. This is my office right here. I'm trying to hurry up because my camera about to die. Side closet. And side bath. That was that. This chapter of our lives is closing. Goodbye, South Carolina. And hello, Charlotte.